Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billy Fly, and today we are here to counter a glove. Yeah, 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 we're not countering a squirrel, it's a glove, I promise. <laughs> yes, let's go ahead. Let's... I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Let's go. <laughs> These are going to be the amazing goobers that are going to be helping us out to figure out the counters. Now, if you're wondering why they're able to just jump through and face through that rock, we'll show you later. Shout out to these amazing goobers again, and let's get into this. <laughs> so weird to see, though. So the first thing that you need to note with the lure glove is that this is a passive ability, meaning it has to be a slap. So anything with distance is going to be your best friend against this. We're going to be looking for things to help you get to that water spot and get yourself safe. So the first counter on this list is going to be default. It's not the greatest, but it can work. Once they use their ability, you're going to hover around and then use your ability to get into that and remove your effect and then go back into fighting. That's one way that you can use the default glove effectively. Moving on, the next counter on the list, we have ourselves Diamond Cheeky, well... Moving on to the next counter on this list, we have ourselves Diamond, Custom, and Mega Rock. All of these are going to work to protect you, and it also has a funny little goober thing that happens if you uh, get eaten by a shark. While you're inside of the rock, it actually does what uh, happened with Cloudy. It makes the rock phaseable and clippable, which is hilarious. So anybody can just wander right on through your rock. You can't be slapped, which is still good, but it's just funny to see. It happens with Custom and Mega Rock, but people still walking into that will die. But the sharks are not able to penetrate the Custom, Mega Rock, or Diamond, meaning even if you're in combat, Combat, just go into rock form and you'll be okay. I definitely recommend custom and mega rock over diamond, but diamond will work. Extended's gonna be one of my great recommendations for this. If you are a good slap fighter, extended's gonna be your best friend in this. When you have somebody chasing you, look look at the distance that they have to try to get past to try to get you. That is a very far distance that you can keep yourself safe with with extended because they have to get a normal slap. So they're gonna have to try to trick you in some way, shape, or form. So extended, I can highly, highly, highly recommend to avoid getting slapped in the first place by them. <laughs> this isn't a counter, but this this is, <laughs> this is more or less funny. If you are pretty good at shooting a brick, you can save yourself. They drop down the portal, shoot a brick, make them sleep, <laughs> and now you're safe. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got a two for one, by the way. That's one way you can use brick. Is it effective? Definitely not, because uh, bricks are kind of hit or miss. They work sometimes, and sometimes they only go like a few feet, so. <laughs> Keep that in mind with brick. That was just a funny one that I wanted to show. I thought that was first try, too, on that kick. <laughs> Believe it or not, snow can actually be pretty good here. You're gonna be in for a fight, so you're gonna be trying to go over. They might slap you, but as soon as you slap them with the slowness, it's gonna take them forever to get back over. So you only need to land one specific hit, and that's it. So if you use snow in that sense, it can work. Is it the best? No, but it does have a very good tradable passive. So flash, you could use this to surprise them. If you know how to gauge distance on where your flashing ability is gonna land, oh, for sure. So even if it's on the rock, go from a distance, teleport right into it, and now you're good. So yeah, again, if you know how to gauge the teleport distance, you can absolutely absolutely teleport right into that pool and take the shark off you. So Swapper is going to be an amazing counter if you're going one-on-one. -on -one. If there's multiple people around you, it might be a little bit more difficult, but if it's just a one-on-one -on -one with a lure user and they cast their portal, it'll be real easy to get to their portal because look, they're going to be hovering over it, guarding it, and you can just teleport into it. So again, if there's a lot of people around you, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but if you can angle yourself correctly, Swapper will be beautiful for you. Now Ghost in this scenario is interesting. While in ghost mode, they cannot see you. You don't even activate your ability once you touch the pool, so you're safe in that sense. But if you get slapped, they can see the little hook that's above your head. But once they cast down the ability, you could be safe after that. So stun can work. All you have to do is just stun them and you can walk right past them. This will be a fantastic counter to use. They'll place down the pool and guess what? You just got to get near them. And then you could just kind of walk over to the pool and be okay before they even stand up. So stun works beautifully. Next counter on the list is going to be magnet. This is how you get yourself a surefire trade. But if they're hovering the pool, it'll work out great. So when they use their ability... Just magnet right towards them. They're probably still going to be around their pool. Slap them. Remove the ability. W. Move. For sure. Just make sure when you're using magnet, nobody's around you. Because if you teleport to somebody that's next to you and not the person that's near the pool, you're going to have issues. Another great glove is going to be pusher. If they have the pool down, just use your pusher wall ability. And now you're safe. You can get to the pool without having to worry about them coming to slap you. So pusher is very, very effective. It just has a long ability cooldown. Beware of that. Space is a fantastic counter to remove this ability. Go way up in the sky. There's absolutely no way they're going to be able to time it out and remove it and slap you. You can easily fall into that pool before they could ever get a slap off on you. It's not my top counter. Definitely not. There's better than space, but it does work. The next counter is going to be dream. Of course, you can't hit something that's too fast. If you know how to maneuver and dodge well, you've been slapped. Just go in circles, go to the side. Yes, you have the agile desync that should help you win. So you could use mail to throw up a distraction so they can't see you coming in and you can slap them. This does work, but I don't like it. I want something better. If you have a thick glove on a big size, for sure, you can out slap a normal glove, but you have to have that thick glove at the start. Now, does Golden's ability save you from the shark? Let's find out. If we see ourselves go red and then use our ability, 
you are safe, but you're underneath the map, so technically, <laughs> no. It's not a complete elbow, because if you get slapped before you use your ability, you can of course just use your ability and walk right into the whirlpool and remove it. So it's still 50-50, but it's not going to save you from the shark. Cheeky, this is going to be great. You could use Cheeky to get to the whirlpool real quick. <laughs> Ever wondered what a Cheeky looks like being eaten by a shark? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> can replica clones get eaten by sharks? So they can't use it specifically with one on there. They can hit and give the replica clone the hook, but the sharks will not target a replica clone. Now reverse. Can you use reverse and give them the shark ability? Huh, interesting. Even if they slap and get reversed, it still goes on the reverse user. Wow. <laughs> That's odd. If you use the ability while the shark's coming, what happens? Ah, at the right moment, it's good. Rip. So reverse isn't gonna save you from the base slap. You can reverse and have them take all the knockback, but you're still gonna get the hook and they can still use the ability on you. So the way to use reverse against a lure user is you just wait as soon as you go all red, pop your reverse ability, and then the shark will spawn on the user who used the ability. So now Shikuchi, can you avoid the shark by being in an animation? You go all red and you use your ability. Uh-oh. Uh, so it saves you. You won't die in the animation, but if not timed properly, yeah, you're gonna be beneath the ground. Wait till the very last moment and then use it. Nah, the timing is way too hard. What could be a fantastic counter? They can't hit what they can't touch, right? So even if they spawn the whirlpool, just use your ability, send them back, you can get to the whirlpool perfectly. Even when you're in combat, just use your shockwave to avoid being hit by them in general. Ice and gummy technically work if you get a trade-off, but we're looking for better, not passives. If you use adios, since it's an animation, can you save yourself from the shark? This actually might be hilarious to see thinking about it. As soon as you see yourself go all red and you use your ability, <laughs> it works! It works! Oh, I'm slidey. Oh, oh! Ah! So it does work, but your character model slides like it's been hit with Goofy. <laughs> so Adios can work, but they expect to get flung after. <laughs> I love audios. It's such a goober one. So you could definitely use blocked if you're facing one singular lure user. If there's multiple, they use buddies. But the way you're going to use this is as soon as you get hit, you know you have one goober that you need to attack. As long as you sit there and you trade, they can no longer slap you, meaning you can get to the center of this without having any trouble. If you're fighting multiple, that's where buddies comes in. Same thing, just with a lot more people. They have the whirlpool. If you buddies them, they can't go and slap you. Even if you trade, go right to the whirlpool and you're good to go. If you can land a rock, it can work. So you've been hit. What do you do? You get a giant boulder and heave it at them so that you can wave to them and then go into the whirlpool. <laughs> Don't wave, it'll eat too much time. The, the rocks are gonna be good for stalling time. If you can land coil, for sure you can use coil. This glove will keep them distanced from you so that you don't even have to slap fight them. But even if you do get slapped, just use this glove to send them back if they're hovering. If they're hovering the whirlpool, just use your ability. By the time they land, you're already at it. So coil is a massive W. If you trade off on a conveyor hit, it's gonna be harder for them to try to puppy guard the whirlpool. So that can work, but I'm gonna go for a different one. Like balloony here. Balloony will be a fantastic because you can control the height. It's like space, but better. So if you were thinking about using space, but you have the slaps for balloony, use balloony. This will be a hundred times better and easier for you to reach where you need to go. Let's go up in the sky. You have a desync advantage. Bam, drop on top of it. You're good. So now that we know that Ghost is invisible and they can't see the red. If they spawn the shark on you while you're using Phantom, you can easily outmaneuver them to get to the whirlpool. Just use your ability. You can get in and get out and they wouldn't even know it. Hey, what <laughs> Andrew looking back and forth. He made that sentence perfect. <laughs> So if you could land it, stop will stop them in their tracks so that you can get to the whirlpool if they're puppy guarding, but I feel like there's much better to use, so I'm not even going to showcase it. You can definitely use track as a deterrent glove, but I would not call it a counter. Table flip. Yes, this could be a counter for both offensive beforehand to keep them distanced so they can't slap you, and for defensive if they have slapped you and they spawn in the whirlpool, they're probably going to be puppy guarding it, so you just have to heave the table at the whirlpool where they're guarding. Yeah, you can uh, you can hit them and get right over where you need to get to. Now, shield, believe it or not, we're going to have two weeks in a row that shield's going to be useful. You're fighting a base slap. It goes away against the base slap, so if they go to attack you at least once with this, it removes it. Yeah, you'll get the slap off. But even if they do end up slapping you, you can still use this perfectly as if they spawn that in. If you go and fight the whirlpool user, you'll still trade off on that original shield hit. They'll take knockback, your shield will be removed, and you'll be able to get to the water. So shield works in that sense for sure. Ping pong is going to be like table flip, but a little bit faster. You 
can keep them at bay and keep them at distance with this glove as soon as you get hit. Just heave a ping pong ball at the person who's puppy guarding and you can stay safe. But yeah, you could use Pong as defensive wise to not get slapped in the first place. You know the gist. In a way, you can use home run. It will be like a deterrent for them to go near you. All you have to do is get closer to it. And as soon as you do, use your ability. And if they're puppy guarding it, just swing because you can go a pretty hefty distance while in bat form. It works out well, works out very well. So remember with the home run glove, you're going to need to be closer to the water and you're going to have to have really good timing because you're going to force a fight or you're going to force them to run. Funny enough, Whirlwind here is going to help out <laughs> as long as there's not a crowd. Whirlwind will help out, but I don't recommend Whirlwind. I just want to show you that it will work. Just use Whirlwind and get right into the pool. You'll have such a desync that even if you hit somebody back behind you, you can reach the whirlwind before you even get busted out. It just takes a while for you to get your whirlwind back and they can get their shark ability back faster. I would not use it. So a top counter on this list is definitely gonna be slicer. This is like ping pong and table flip. This is a distance glove. So if they go to slap you, throw a slicer blade at them. But in the unfortunate event that they do end up hitting you with it, all you have to do is just throw your slicer blade at them and you can walk right over to the pool and be safe. <laughs> excavator, we know we're about to be hit by the shark. We go all red and we use excavator. Like I dove into his mouth. Don't use excavator. So with the Thor glove, it's interesting. If you get hit by a lure user, you can no longer use the Thor ability till you remove the hook over your head, or if you stand in the whirlpool if they activate their ability. You can use it beforehand to keep distance and make sure that they are nowhere near you, but because they can take away the ability, Thor is not a counter at all. Cloud will be interesting. First test here, if you get slapped and you use Cloudy, you can kind of fly around and go from the top and then come down straight down to land in there. That can work. But if you're in a cloud, it seems to be that you are safe from the shark. They can use their ability in an unreachable spot. That's what I wanted to know. This is a killer combo. I think gravity could be a pretty good counter. This would be something as defense. You wouldn't use this offensively against them. You would wait for your ability. But once they spawn in their whirlpool, use your ability. All you have to do is just run around. They are slowed and you can get to the center of that whirlpool without any trouble. As long as you kind of go around in a circle and avoid getting slapped. All one shots will work against them. God's hand, the flex, air, and overkill. Kill. It's gonna be a slap, so if you can trade, you can for sure get them. Nothing extra. Ultra Instinct will proc since it's a slap. That 50% dodge rate will work. This could be very, very good as if they slap you and they're near the Whirlpool, you have a chance of teleporting behind them or to the side or something, which could be directly into the Whirlpool itself. Ultra Instinct can work, but I won't give it the top counter. Acrobat could be very good. It's the same type of concept with Dream and it has the same concept for any speed glove. As soon as they place down the ability, just use your roll and get to the center of the Whirlpool without them being able to slap you. It works out very well in my opinion. If you have bus ready, you can for sure use the bus glove to get them out of their puppy guard because they're going to be hovering one specific spot. There's nobody near, you could use the bus glove and it will kick them out so that you can get yourself into the whirlpool. Phase, will this keep you safe from the shark? You could of course use your phase ability and go right into the whirlpool. That 100% works, but what I want to see is if you can use the phase to avoid the shark. Now, you won't die, but now you're stuck below. If at all possible, try to see if you can make your way to a tree. If you can make it up the tree and then use your phase, I think you have a chance to survive because the shark won't be able to put you down beneath the earth, but you still have this effect. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anytime you get in the shark's mouth and you survive, it's like you've been hit by a perma gooby. Gooby? <laughs> a perma goofy is what I meant to say. Now warp works if you have traded with the user. If you are fighting one of the users who is using this and you trade off at the start or it'll work. Just like that, they hit you, teleport back over. That is the way you're gonna use warp. But it's so far and few in between that you're gonna be able to trade perfectly each and every single time that I just don't recommend it. Now you could use the bomb, bubble, jet, shard, and bob gloves all as deterrents, and some of them even work as counters. But if you have bomb and you unfortunately get hit, all you have to do is just throw the bomb on the person who's puppy guarding, explode them, and now you can get to the whirlpool and be safe. You could also use bubble, but it's gonna be a lot harder to hit the bubble than it is gonna be for you to hit the bomb. In that sense, I'd use bomb over bubble, but bubble can work if you're good at landing the bubble shots. You can also use the jet if they're puppy guarding. Back up for a second, let the jet hit them, and then walk into the whirlpool. You could also use the shard glove. This is fantastic. Fantastic. I'll show you this one. You can land it. They're slowed. Then you see them use their ability. If you use yours, you can walk way over to the whirlpool before they could because they are slowed. And then you already know Bob's gonna chase them down so they can either sell out to try to hit you and die to Bob or they can go run away so that you can save yourself. Bob's a W on that. I might give Bob a top tier. I don't know. You'll have to check. <laughs> Rage's speed can work, but I don't really care for the frenzy that much for the speed. So if you use the speed mode on hybrid, you could use this as like dream and that can work to avoid and then get to the center of the whirlpool fast. That does work. There's better. I'll show you a different one. I'll show you a slapple. This 
gets a top counter on my books because you can use this offensively and defensively to keep yourself safe and never get hit. But if in the event you do get hit, all you have to do is run up to wherever the whirlpool is. And if they go to fight you, all you have to do is just spawn your ability. It gives them knockback. And then you can just hop right down into the whirlpool to save yourself. So of course, passive v passive. Disarm's gonna work. You can take away their glove. They won't be able to use their ability. You'll have the hook so that once they get their glove back, they can use their ability. So keep that in mind, but I just wouldn't use it. But it can work effectively if you know how to slap without being slapped. In dominance, if you're close enough to the whirlpool, you can spawn it to get a speed boost. But I feel like there's a lot better than trying to manipulate a circle against another circle with somebody trying to slap you. <laughs> a counter is gonna be charged because you can get to the center of that whirlpool and smack the goober that's puppy guarding it. So you've been slapped. You could use this to just get into the pool and escape, or you could slap the goober that did done diddly slapped you. Your choice. Glitch is going to be a fantastic counter. I'm going to give this a top tier counter as well, because you could use this offensively to stay from being slapped, and you could use it defensively if they do slap you. They spawn in the whirlpool. All you have to do is just anytime they're anywhere near you, use the glitch, and now you have so much time to make it into the whirlpool. Now, believe it or not, snowball can actually be pretty effective here. Use the snowball to shoot them and get to the whirlpool before they could even get to you. Is it the best? No, definitely not because it's going to take you time to set that up. Keep that in mind, but it does work. Now Eludes a top counter. They can't give you the ability because you dodge all slaps. Eludes just too good for that. So if they try to slap you, they can't. You're fine. Elude is a top counter for sure. A pretty decent counter is going to be fish. You can actually flop yourself perfectly into the center of a whirlpool. If you know how to gauge how far you're going to flop, this works perfectly. To flop in the air and land into that whirlpool, fish works in that sense. So now can you give the shark ability to a voodoo clone yes yes they do get hit with the ability and they do have the shark and they are timed they must get to the whirlpool all right so the voodoo and the lure gloves work as a pretty decent combo so a question that we have to ask with leash can they use their ability if they have been leashed you've traded off on the hit if they're leashed they could still use the ability but they're leashed meaning you can just go into the whirlpool once they're leashed they can't do anything to you so leash can't work as a counter another counter you could use is flamering once you see them use their ability use flamering and use this as like a guardian aoe have it circling around you so that if they go to try to fight you, you can time it out and push them back. Sparky works out great. Your speed, your lightning McQueen, brother. So if you get hit, use your ability. You have quite a bit of time before you have to get to the center of that. So as soon as you see yourself turn red, that's when I would go try to time it better. But yeah, for sure you can use this to gain more speed and hover on the whirlpool to find yourself a time to actually get into the center. So not a top counter, but a decent one for speed. Another fantastic counter and maybe top counter is gonna be boogie. They can't hit if they don't have a glove, right? Exactly, just use boogie. They cannot defend the whirlpool. So you could just walk over and you're good to go. So like Adios, let's see what Recall can do. <laughs> yeah, so the shark cannot attack you, but again, you have that perma goofy, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Psycho will be a fantastic counter, absolutely fantastic. As soon as you get hit, just flutter on over to the center. <laughs> it's as easy as that. So you can use a seafood friend here, Kraken, to keep yourself distanced from the original slap, or if they're puppy guarding, give them the hammer. Or, well, there's a hammer glove, so give them the Kraken hammer, or Kraken arm. You know what? Whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so they spawn it in, they're puppy guarding, just use the Kraken glove, slap them out of the way, and get yourself safe into the whirlpool. Counter works. If you can time it, just don't get baited. Now we're on to Rob, and Rob is a fantastic counter if you're able to bypass the long ability wait time <laughs> so as soon as they spawn in the portal just use your ability and you can get right to the whirlpool and be okay but if you have a shark coming it will stick you beneath the earth so to save yourself while using rob you're gonna need to be up in a tree like i did with phase so rob will definitely get that top tier counter for me if you're fast enough with rhythm you can easily use this as like a dream glove rojo has an animation this is gonna be like phase where if you can get to a higher tier before using your ability you'll be good but being on the base ground it's the shark will put you beneath the earth while you're in the animation and it will not be worth it but it's gonna be tough it's gonna be really 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 tough but if you get here use your ability I wasn't high enough on the tree, so I still got placed beneath the earth. So I don't recommend it. I'm just showing you that it can work. If you get to the warp in Hitman or any of the abilities in Hitman, it can keep you protected against the user. But I like warp more than I do the guns because the guns have an off chance to shoot somebody that's in the crowd and not your adversary that's puppy guarding the whirlpool. Retro will also be another top counter. If they use their whirlpool ability, just use the bomb, blast yourself, and they can't get you in time, and you can land it perfectly. And then with the band hammer, if you're going towards the pool, it'll be perfect. All you have to do is 
push, just use the hammer. I turned around not to kill him, but yeah, hit him before you get to that edge and you should be good to go. And the last things last, you could definitely use the rocket launcher as a defensive item. Just shoot the RPG. Oh, sorry, Klee. <laughs> sorry. But yeah, you shoot the RPG to keep distance. The null glove can work. Spawn your minions against their whirlpool. Just make sure you spawn it towards them and not after somebody else, because if your little minions attack somebody that's not near the whirlpool, you're not going to be able to use it effectively, because they're going to be targeting somebody that doesn't need to be targeted. So in a crowd, yeah, it'll be tough. It'll be tough. Just spawn your null minions after you've been hit. Wait behind them. Let them rush in. And then, then you go. Because if they try to fight and counter the minions, that'll happen to them. And then, of course, you can try to combat a lure against a lure to try to win. And that will do it for all of the counters for this glove here. There's quite a few, quite a few. But that comes when you have yourself a passive glove. You're always going to have a ton of counters with it. Remember, anything with distance is going to be your best friend against a passive glove. But let me know what was your favorite counter and which counter surprised you the most. For me, reverse surprised me the most. For the first initial part of it, yeah, it surprised and shocked me. My favorite counter on this list is probably either Slicer or Dream. Both of those are very fun. Actually, Slicer, Dream, or Bellini, I don't know, I have too many favorites. <laughs> but they began the chaos way too early, so a lot of them aren't here because they decided to kill everybody, and they're still doing it down below. But shout out to these awesome goobers who did end up helping out. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night, whenever you do end up watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Later! <laughs>